Hello and welcome in section 3, configuring visualization for your new network model. And here we'll be talking about default controls and how to change them. So let's get back to our hello world example. And here the default control, when you just left click and drag, is just changing the camera angle. And on my Mac, this is just clicking on a touch pad and pretty much just dragging on the trackpad. So this is the default kind of a main control. Then we can also change the camera view or pretty much just change camera position to be precise, right? So this is actually accessible by right clicking and dragging okay so on my mac this is just double click on the trackpad and drag right then you can change the camera position and you can also when we talk about default controls here you can zoom in zoom out of course and and this is just sliding on the track button on my Mac. And we can also click on each layer and some of the layers will show us the options or the actual content of those layers if we have loaded data there. And notice that when we open a new layer, we also have this little button here. And this is our close button. And in a moment, I will show you how we can actually change its behavior. So those are the main controls that we can use in TensorSpace. There's not much, but in most cases, you know, for very basic visualizations, they work pretty well. So let's look at what we can actually tweak or customize. So the first thing that we can customize is the close button, right? And by default, when we expand the, the layer, we can see that close button. And for each layer, we can define if we should actually show it or not, or maybe I'll make it a bit bigger. So we need to provide the close button dictionary or object to specify those properties of close button. So we can tweak that. We can also make sure that we don't have this button. You know, you can pretty much just tweak it really well. Also, you can just totally hide it and use some kind of different control to actually open and close the, the layer. Uh, how you do that, it's up to you, but you can use uh, the close method on the layer um, to actually close or, you know, expand the layer so there's option here as well the other important control that you can use is paging and we haven't seen the paging example but in documentation we can see that when you have a really huge vector this might be you know the visualization can actually be ridiculous because you will have this little, really long vector and you can configure this paging that will allow you to show this vector in a more manageable way. So here you specify different kind of parameters of the paging. And with this, it's much more readable, much more accessible. So those are two main controls that you can change. There are a couple of different, maybe not that important elements there. and yeah, those are the two main ones.